Hello. So a lot of people always ask me about how do I get the skin on my avatar in Marvelous Designer. So I'll show you uh, an easy way to do it and how to do it so that you can use it each time you want to without redoing this step. So I'm going to, um, granted there are other ways too, so this isn't the only way, but I found this way works really nice for me. So I'm going to take the rigging and just move it to another layer because I don't need it there. And each one of these body parts, the head, the three major ones, have a material on it already. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to take this material off. And I'm going to open up a UV editor. Let me make my camera a little bigger there. So UV editor. And selecting the top one and putting it in edit mode and selecting all of this uh, UV mapping. I'm going to create a new material and assign it. I'll select the next body part and um, create a new material and assign it as well. And then the third, create a new one and assign that. Okay, so that part's actually done. Now I'm going to select the three body parts and actually sometimes it doesn't matter what order you do it in, it just gets kind of turned around anyways. So now I'm going to go to File and I'm going to export the OBJ. Sorry about that. So File and Export the OBJ and actually these two are, I don't need those anymore. Those are ones that I did before. So Materials OBJ and export it and this part's actually done so then we hop over into marvelous designer and we want to import that obj so file import obj and let's see i'm going to go to my folder where i had it and my system is such a mess here huh probably a good thing you can't see it sometimes. Okay, and um, you can just see it right there. And, oh, I'm saving it. I want to, I want to export it, so, or something. Import OBJ. you get this uh, brought in, what we're going to do is um, go to the property editor and the object browser. So you want to open them both up. And where it says avatar material, and we have the mesh here, there's three pieces. One's for the head, the upper body, and the lower body. But these don't always come in order. So the first one we can just um, check with the color here. So this is the upper body. So we'll just name this upper. And then on this button here, we'll click this. And this opens up a browser for our computer. And we're just going to bring in the skin. Whoops, I brought in the wrong skin. Huh. I'm going to bring in the upper body, not the face. OK, so then on the next one, we can test and see what part of the body. That's the head. Okay, and I just canceled that color because I don't really want that color. And then bring the face uh, skin in. And this one, of course, is head, so we'll name it head real quick. And then the last one, of course, will probably be lower, so we'll just name that real fast. And uh, opening up the diffuse map button, choose the lower body uh, skin. And now this one's ready to work with here inside of Marvelous Designer. But if you don't want to go through that every time you um, come into Marvelous Designer, 
what we can do now is save this so go to file and export obj and we're just going to name it um, skinned avatar and actually here you can see on my window uh, um, I have to redo this again so you can actually see it okay so here I'm actually just going to put um, skinned avatar and save it and of course you have to put the M here the scale and single object is good weld is good thin is good these are the ones you don't um, really want anyways and then click OK now I can clear her out so right click and clear the avatar now I can go to file and import obj and here's the skinned avatar and of course only have to change the scale and click OK and there it is in your scene and already um, to use. Have fun with it.